right, everyone. Please grab a strap for class today if you haven't heard yet. And we'll go ahead and get started on our back. So um, if you don't have a strap like this, you can grab something that doesn't stretch. So belt, scarf, towel, and that should work. So when you're ready, go ahead and make your way onto your back. Lay down. Place your strap by your side for now. And then place your feet on the floor and your knees pointing up to the sky and relax your arms by your sides. Once you're laying down, fully flat onto your mat, take a deep breath in. Cleansing exhale, just let it go. Good, just like that, breathe in through the nose, fill the chest, belly. Audible exhale, release. It just feels even more grounded, so back of the head, your feet, your hips, breathe in. Cleansing, exhale, let it go. All right, then place one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Inhale a luxurious breath in. This time, exhale through the nose. Continue your breath, inhale in through the nose. Exhale out through the nose. Keep your eyes closed, relax your face. Just continue to breathe in and out. Feel the rise and fall of your belly and your chest as you breathe. Start to let go of any stress, any worries, any heavy feelings, especially everything that's been going on this week. See if you can Get really present here in your awareness and your physical body. Continue to breathe. And perhaps before we start, just sending extra love to those who need it around the world right now. Take a deep breath in. And then a deep breath out through the nose. All right, start to awaken the eyes. Take the strap, wrap your strap or strap equivalent around your the ball of your right foot and then hold on to both sides of your strap with your hands keep your left hand or left foot on the floor rather from here inhale bend your right knee into your chest on the exhale straighten the right leg to the sky good inhale bring the knee right knee right thigh into your chest exhale extend nice one more inhale into the chest please and exhale, extend. All right, now take the strap into just your right hand, please. A little bit above, like closer to your foot, take your left hand to your hip and take your right leg all the way to the right. On the exhale, bring it back up. A little bit past, a little bit past your left knee towards the left, good. Inhale, like a little pendulum here. Inhale to the right and exhale to the left. So starting to feel out your hip joint here on the right, also feeling in, feeling feeling out your hamstring. If it feels really good to go slow, you can inhale and exhale. Move your right leg over to the left. Do this a few more times. Make sure your left foot is down on the mat and you can bring the right leg any distance closer to your body or a little bit further away depending on what works inhale to the right good exhale to the left so really facilitating the stretch on the inhale bring the right leg straight up and then begin to walk your hands all the way up till maybe you can reach your toes once you're there just start to gently draw your toes a little bit closer feeling the hamstring stretch here and if you want an even deeper stretch, extend the left heel down, left leg extends long, all right? Maintain your breath here. Notice any sensation. And then from here, pull your right leg away up at to 90 degrees. All right, once you do that, find your half happy baby on the right. So bring your right knee, bend it near your right shoulder. Pretend you're stamping the ceiling with your right foot as you breathe. So getting into the inner hip, inner thigh area, just use your strap as leverage. Hopefully your right shoulder is still resting onto the mat, making it very restful here. 
Good, one inhale. On the exhale, take it to that full supine twist with your strap. All right, hold on to your strap with your left hand and then extend your right arm out to the right side. Follow the gaze, so look to the right. It's up to you if you want to straighten or bend your right knee. Go where you feel that sensation. So if you bend the knee, what happens to the hip? How does that feel? And then all the while you are trying to point your right toes up into the wall behind you. So notice where you feel this. Perhaps it's in the hip, maybe it's in the, the rib cage, maybe the shoulder. Just a few more breaths. Make sure you're looking to the right, allowing that neck to stretch as well. And then inhale everything, right leg back up, right hand back up. Replace the strap. So remove the strap, place the right foot down. Place the strap around your left ball line now this time. Hold the strap with both hands and then try to orient yourself so that your belly button is facing the sky. Good. Once you're there, inhale, left knee into your chest. On the exhale, straighten. Yeah, feel, feel that stretch happening. Inhale, knee into the chest, thigh. Maybe it compresses to your belly. And then exhale, extend. You can go as fast or as slow here. Just feeling the sensation again that you want to experience. The closer your toes go towards the back wall, the deeper the stretch. And then the further away or the more bent your knee is, little bit more gentle. So a few more bends here. Really working the spine to be flat onto the mat. Feeling supported, letting your nervous system relax here. Inhale, extend the leg. All right, then for a few breaths here, start to gently draw your leg closer to the body, just feeling that out. Really good. And then from here, transfer your strap into your left hand. And you can place your right hand to your hip or the floor. Take your left leg out to the side for a little bit. To the left side, inhale. And then on the exhale, bring the leg up and over just a little bit over. All right, so continue, continuing to repeat this. On the inhale, just a little bit to the left. So about 45 degrees, doesn't have to be all the way down. And then exhale past about two o'clock here on the right side and then inhale out to the left. Good, exhale out to the right. So just giving yourself kind of this luxurious moment of an assisted stretch with the strap. Inhale to the left and exhale over to the right. All right, this time inhale the leg to center Walk your hands higher up into the strap, starting to perhaps hold on to the toes. Maybe you can reach your ankles, maybe even the heel. And then if you want to deepen this, the stretch, you can extend your right leg straight down. Notice the change in your breath. Hopefully you can still maintain the steadiness of it. Hopefully your shoulders are resting on the mat, also the back of the head. Really giving yourself what you need as far as the hamstring stretch here. Good, and then slowly release that one. Bend your left knee to the left side, finding your half happy baby. Now allowing your hip to open, point your your whole sole of your foot to the sky here, point your left toe straight back. Maybe you can lift that heel a little bit higher, perhaps to focus your, your core, you can point your right toe straight up to the sky, letting your inner thigh just feel this stretch here and then allowing your left knee to come closer towards the left rib cage. Good, one more breath. Inhale, extend now the right leg or left leg up to the sky and then transfer the strap into your right hand. Extend the left arm out, then begin your full supine twist. Once again, you can play with bending and extending that leg. The lifted one that will 
kind of allow the stretch to travel higher up into the glute chain all the way in the outer hip area and then all the while looking over to the left and letting your left shoulder relax good so take a few more deep breaths here just feeling out the sensation in the outer left hip try not to let your left foot collapse to the ground just staying lifted staying engaged all right very good inhale center this time reset yourself bring both feet into the strap ball line of your foot guides the strap and then start to pull down so flex that your both of your feet using the strap you can go a little bit higher onto the strap as you really feel that even stretch in the back of the legs and then also you feel your hips pressing down into the floor so hopefully this feels really supportive really strong and then slide your feet out into a happy baby still supported by the strap or whatever stretching device that you have and pointing the soles of your feet high to the sky here really letting your your hips take this stretch you know hip opening one more breath and exhale good release the strap for now place it by the sides start to rock and roll as many times we will meet in a boat pose so elevate your your shins your chest maybe because we stretched our legs so much we can start to feel a little bit of an extension in our boat pose i know it's early in class but just if that works for you hold your boat for four three two and one good cross the legs find tabletop in your tabletop inhale for cow pose lift the tail lift the gaze exhale round yourself to cat inhale for cow pose good stretch in the core exhale round then if that's for you you can add on add on some hip circles getting into those hips good add on shoulders thread the needle you can go into child's pose into seal pose anything that really serves you here just use this time as free expression to free up your spine let go of something let go of work and your to-do list and then just get really present all right before we move on in our practice widen your knees sit all the way back to your child's pose once again a little bit more for the hips rest your forehead find a moment of calm or stillness rest your forehead a lot let rest your forearms allow your tips to touch your heels if possible And then now inhale, rise, tabletop. Hopefully you feel a lot more relaxed. Exhale, bring the knees together to touch. And then inhale the left knee straight back. Once you're there, circle out the left knee. You can even look to the left side so you can see the rotation in that, um, that range of motion that you're creating on the left. Feel the oblique engagement on the right. Good, and then from here, Extend the left leg all the way back and then reach the right arm all the way forward. Nice. Now you'll feel the core working even more. Strengthen the left arm and then take a hold of the left foot with your right hand. You can use your strap to make that happen. If it's a little bit hard to reach, you'll just do this. If you can reach your foot, go ahead and reach your foot or use the strap, all right? look forward kick the leg back slowly lift your sternum forward in space and exhale release back down to the floor sit back into a child's pose pause for a moment and then inhale for a seal pose let your whole thighs rest on your mat or all of or both thighs lift the chest lift the back of the feet and exhale back to table all right other side inhale the right knee back bend your right knee maybe perhaps looking over the right shoulder and then start to circle your right knee 
in space, drawing that big circle, going one way and the other, just feeling out, loosening up the lumbar, lumbar spine. Good. And then when you're ready, extend the right leg all the way back, bring the left arm all the way forward. You might need to bring your right hand a little bit closer to you here. Hug your ribs in, hug your navel in, steady, lift the leg, and then from here, take a hold of the right foot with your left hand. Once again, if it's a challenge to reach, use your strap and begin to push your shin closer to the back wall while you look forward, getting into that shoulder stretch. Good, keep breathing here. Really nice balance. One more inhale and exhale, let everything go. From here, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Nice, and then step your left foot forward towards the left wrist. Once you're there, place your left hand onto your rather knee and then lower your hips any amount here, just feeling out the stretch in the hip flexor. Again, more of inner thighs here. You can accessorize this pose by lifting the arm up into a twist, or if you really want to focus on loosening up those hips, just settle into this almost like a lizard pose. Good, just a few more breaths there. On the exhale, pyramid pose, walk your right heel in and walk your left heel in as well. Allow your forehead to melt towards the floor here. You can look right and left, just loosening up any tension in your neck region, especially in the upper shoulders as well. And then on the inhale, rise up to your warrior one. Take the strap with you, lift it on up. Okay, find your warrior one, so really support yourself, bend deep into your left knee, lift your arms high with the strap. Then we are going to floss the shoulders here. So take the strap, strap behind you, lift the chest, inhale up and exhale, bring the strap to like your belt area and then inhale right back up. Keep the bend in the left knee and exhale, strap to the back. So keep going here. Just feeling really spacious in your upper body feeling freedom, freedom in the chest, shoulders. Good, one more. Nice, inhale. On the exhale, release the strap back to your pyramid pose. Inhale, halfway lift. On the exhale, lower the right knee down. All right, when you're there, slide your left heel to the right for your pigeon pose. So very, carefully bringing yourself down. Again, just bringing us into a few more stretches. Take the hands by your sides if you can. Really have a proud chest here and then straighten out your back foot. So you feel that stretch travel all on the front side of the right leg. Keep breathing. Relax the shoulders a bit, relax your face. On the exhale, bow forward to the elbows just for another couple breaths. Looking to the right, looking to the left. And then when you feel peaceful, plant the hands, tuck the right toes, send the left leg up, shake it out. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, inhale the left leg up. Exhale, step your right foot towards the right pinky. Once you're there, right hand now goes to your thigh. Keep your left knee off the ground, please, and explore your hips here. Yeah, deep breaths, letting whatever kind of tension or any soreness from any workouts that you've been doing this week just to be felt. Make sure that left quad is engaged. If you did the twist, you can always lift the right arm high or just focus on this hip opening. Good, one final breath. 
and then exhale, take it back to your pyramid pose. Walk your left heel down and walk your right foot forward so you're more in the center line of your body. Stay on the fingertips here. Maybe you have a little bend in the right knee or you want to test that stretch by straightening out both legs. And try to relax your head. So see if you're holding a lot of tension there. And then breathe deeply into your right side hamstring. Engage those quads. Lean the hips back. Just a few more breaths. Good, find your strap, inhale, rise up to warrior one. All right, really ground into your mat. Left heel is flat onto the mat behind you. Inhale the arms high. Good, then we'll go in again, taking care of the shoulders here. So take the strap behind you, inhale up, exhale in front, inhale back up. Exhale back. So allow your elbows to bend if you need. Really free up those underarms, especially after being by your sides this whole week. If you're typing or on your phone, or on your computer. A few more. Inhale. One last. Inhale. And exhale. Take the strap to the side. Good. Place your hands down to the mat here. Lower the left knee and then slide your right foot to the left. Find your pigeon pose. Go slow into it as it's a big hip opener and then lift your chest. Try to get most of your left thigh to face down here. That will deepen the feeling in the hip flexor. Maybe you feel it more in the outer hip. It just depends on how your body's doing. Relax those shoulders. Good, keep breathing. Point the belly button forward. And then on the next couple breaths, go down onto the elbows if that's accessible to you. Just a few more. Good, inhale, hands to the ground, tuck the left toes. Stay with it, inhale the right leg up and back circle and then exhale down dog from here step hop into frog pose so step forward sit down onto your hips letting your hips fully stretch here hands to your heart space one of my favorite poses just to really feel grounded you can close your eyes here or you can do any stretches to the side or any twists or working on your neck looking right and left it's one of the nice poses to really allow your, your mobility in your hips and then letting your knees whoops my water bottle fell somehow letting your knees just open up or rather go to the sides and then exhale forward fold all right from here take the strap place it behind you Good. And then have your thumbs facing to the outside. It's like you're, it's like an upside down hitchhike symbol. <laughs> and then, and then from here, bend your elbows. Just allow your strap to go over the back of your head. So just feel out. Do your thumbs want to point out? Do they want to point in? You can try both. But either way, you're just trying to get that feeling of the shoulders opening up. Breathe. Then take the hands to your hips, rise all the way to your standing pose, and then exhale, bring your feet together. All right, now the strap is behind you. Inhale the arms high, and exhale, bring the arms forward. So more of this, but then you can actually shorten your strap a little bit so you can intensify the feeling. We, this is really good to help you loosen up after your work week. So do a few more at your own timing. Make sure you're breathing. All right, and then from here, bring the strap 
in front of you, chest height. Walk your feet wider, like hips width. Then find your twisting, all, twisting move all the way to the left side with the strap and then all the way to the right. Just using your hand to pull onto the strap to deepen the twist. Keep your feet solid, but then allow your hips to twist. Moving slow. Breathing, feeling space into the rib cage. One last here. Good. Inhale, arms high, and then take the strap or towel or belt or even scarf behind your head. And then walk up your strap, just allowing your head to rest and you mount of a back bend here. On the exhale, good, hands to heart space. Take a few breaths with the strap, breathe in. Cleansing exhale, let it go. Inhale, breath. And exhale, release. All right, take the strap above your head again. This time we're working on side bends. So take the arms all the way up. Find your strap only about shoulder width distance. Feet or hips width distance or together, your choice. Hug onto that strap really tight. Breathe in. Take a side bend to the right side. So pull, equally pull apart that strap as you do your side bend. And inhale center, taking it to the other side. And inhale center. One more each side. Inhale center, and then take your side bend on the exhale. Good, inhale center. All right, then from here, right arm stays up, left arm goes down behind you. Once you do that, bend both of your elbows and start to connect to the middle of the strap. Maybe your fingertips will touch. Either way, just breathe here. This is a tricep stretch. Also the internal rotation in the left arm, left sh shoulder. Breathe here, or you can take it deeper into a chair pose if you want. So a chair pose with cow faced arms. If you're in chair, you're gonna look down Keep the elbow pointing to the sky or the same direction as the crown of the head. And then on the inhale, unwind everything. Let the arms go straight up to the sky. Feel that release in all the kind of liquids and the joints and then slowly let your arms rest. Other side, inhale the arms high. Then take your right hand down and back behind you. Then from here, bend both of your elbows starting to you know, walk up your strap here, trying to find a connection somehow. Make sure you're feeling comfortable, no strain in the right shoulder. Nice. Let's try to stand tall, really hug those abs in, then left elbow to the sky. All right, from here you could stay standing up or if you want to deepen it, it'll feel a little bit more, more work, more intensity. Send your hips back, sit down into your chair. For me, I'm right-handed, so I really do feel this in the right shoulder. My right arm is the more dominant one. Breathing, ribs in. And all right, good. Slowly unwind, unravel the arms, arms high to the sky, still with the strap, and release the strap. Really good. All right, before we move on, shake out the wrists. Rotate the arms like you're opening a doorknob, both arms, and then inhale the arms high. From here, we'll take a side bend without the strap, just feeling the difference. Take a side bend over towards the right. Inhale, center to the left. Inhale, center, hands behind the back of the head, then go into your back bend. Exhale, swan dive down to your forward fold, let it go. Inhale halfway. And then exhale, either down dog, child's pose, or frog pose, I'll let you decide here. Breathe. Mm -hmm. 
and then everyone lower down to your knees. We'll go in for our first cattle pose of class. Strengthen out your glutes, then take your hands to the back pockets, lift your chest, take a deep breath in. On the exhale, gaze high. So it doesn't have to be really deep here. Focus on the integrity of your lumbar and then really just hug the elbows back in space as you maybe get another few centimeters of space in the sternum. Breathe and then exhale, have a seat. Close your eyes, place one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly, take a deep breath in. Cleansing exhale, let it go. And one more, breathe in. And exhale, release. All right, second set of camel. We're gonna take it a little deeper this time, or you can just do the same thing. So listen to your body today. Back bends were one of the things that I knew I needed because I would try to avoid them. So take the hands behind you, elbows back. Okay, breathe in and then exhale, press the hips forward. Let it be more about a chest opening rather than a lean back. So pull apart the sternum, the collarbone. Breathe. And exhale, have a seat again on the heels. This time, other hand to the heart, other hand to the belly. Breathe in. Cleansing exhale. Inhale. And cleansing breath. To counter that, we're going to do an inversion. So you can choose either down dog, dolphin pose, or a headstand. So go ahead and take your pick now. Stay inverted for about five to seven breaths, whatever that looks like for you. For dolphin pose, your elbows are on the ground. Down dog, you're just here. And in your headstand, you're either doing supported headstand or tripod headstand. So just breathe and be strong. Use your core. Good. Three more breaths, any variation that you pick. And then very slowly, everyone, lower down to your child's pose. Okay, good work. If you are inverted, make sure, if you're in headstand, make sure you take a child's pose here. Then bring both of your palms to touch, like a high five, and then take your thumbs to the back of your neck now. Letting both triceps extend, elbows forward. Plant the hands, inhale, rise. Then we'll go in for our first either crow or frog pose. So I'll let you choose. So step forward, find your crow or frog. Then we'll hold for about five breaths. Two, three, four, Five feet down, inhale to chair pose. Good, arms high. Nice, then stand straight up. Circle out the arms all the way back. Feeling yourself like you're swimming. And then bring the hands to your heart space. Adding on with more balancing. Inhale the right knee up. Exhale to your figure four for the first one of the day. Hands to hips. Good. And then once you're here balancing, you can either try to bring your forearms to your shins or fingertips all the way to the ground. Few breaths. Really taking your time to feel the pose, to build it up to how you want it to be. If you're really craving that arm balance, go ahead and go for the flying squirrel, Balavasana. Then everyone inhale, slowly rise up, lift the right knee, 
and exhale, release. Switching sides, inhale the left knee high. Exhale to your figure four. Find your focus here. Then express yourself in any variation of this pose that you wish. Prioritizing how you feel and the breath. Continuing to focus. Even more spacious breaths. If you took the arm balance, you can go ahead and do it now. Using the glute strength, the core, arms. Awesome. And then inhale, you'll slowly. Everyone, please rise up. Left knee high. And exhale, let it go. Good. Now that we've a little bit warmed up and balanced, take the strap with you. Pick it up. Then, just like when we were laying down, wrap your strap around your right ball line of your foot. Then, Hug your right knee into your chest. So we did this earlier, but laying down. Stand straight up. Find your balance. And then here, now is our time to recreate what we did earlier. So inhale, or exhale, extend the leg. Inhale, bend the right knee into the chest. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. So there's a tremendous amount of focus here. Inhale. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. And inhale, bend. Keep going. Just four more. Inhale to bring close to the body. Exhale to bring away. Inhale. And exhale. <laughs> You're so strong. One more. Inhale. If balance is a challenge today, that's all good. Good, inhale and release. Whew, good, we'll counter, we'll counter that by placing the strap around the right foot again. Take the strap above your right shoulder, giving your quad a break. So you can even put your left hand to your rib cage area, find your balance. Hopefully you feel this in the quad area, you should if you flex your right foot. And release, good work. All right, so this left glute, the left ankle, calves, all of it was working really hard. We'll switch. Wrap your strap around the left foot now, the ball side. And balance is something you can always improve, so don't worry about it. You can, if you fall out, that's all good. So from here, inhale, bring the knee into the chest. So bring it higher than your hip, your knee, bring your knee higher than your hip. And just bring it close to the body here. We'll see. We'll see how the right or right foot balances better than the left. We'll see. All right, full breath in. <laughs> and then exhale, extend. Inhale in. Exhale, extend. Inhale in. And try not to lean back. Exhale, extend. Lean forward instead. Inhale. Exhale. So much easier on the back, right? Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale, about four more here. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Good. One more. How are you doing? <laughs> and softly relax. If you found that side was harder, it's all good. All right, wrap the strap around the left foot, backpack your left or strap over the left shoulder, and then flex your foot, really pull up until you feel that quad stretch. But you do have to hug your knee down to feel that stretch. And a little bit of a tuck in the tailbone. You got it. And release. All right, good. Shake out, stretch out the ankles a bit, point the toes, just let that go. And then we'll, we'll add on a little bit more. So from here, take the strap around your right foot. 
strap around the right foot. Good. Then bend the right knee, extend the leg. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other on the back. So strap around your right hand now. Hand left hand to the left hip. Okay, we got this. Inhale out to the side. Exhale in. This one harder. Inhale out. Exhale in. And remember, you can do this by bending the knee, but try just any amount. Inhale. Exhale. This one we're not going to do as many of. Inhale. Exhale. Strong. One more. Inhale. And exhale. That was great. All right, switch. Strap around the left foot. And it doesn't have to be that big, right? It's just any amount to feel that motion that you're balancing. Strap into the left hand again. Hand to the right. <laughs> right hand to the right hip. Okay, you got it. Inhale out. Exhale in. Whoa, this one's a little tricky. Inhale out. Exhale in. It helps to look forward. Just stay looking forward. Inhale. So this is a tremendous amount of core strength. Keep going about four more. Three. Exhale in, two, lots of glute strength, lots of hamstring strength, last one, and release. Good. I hope you're proud of yourself for that balancing progress. Inhale the arms high, and exhale, hands behind you. Inhale, and exhale. Good. We got a few more here. Inhale, and exhale back. One more, and exhale. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is trying to stretch the leg forward. So start with the right leg, take it back into the strap. You're very prepared for this, you got it. Then hug the knee in as high as you can, strap around both hands so each hand has a side of the strap, and then extend the leg forward. So this one, we just wanna hold. Relax the shoulders. Maybe go a little bit closer to the foot. This one you can lean back a little bit just to counterbalance, but really try to mid, to center everything to the midline. If you're so strong. Static hold. Three. Two. And one, release. Nice. All right, good. Shake out your hands if they got, you know, really tense holding onto the strap. Then switch. Strap into the left. Take a breather. Inhale, knee into the chest really high, as high as you can. Getting ready here. And then extend the leg forward. Whoa. Find your balance. It's okay to reset. and hold. Maximizing that strength and then the stretch. You got it. Really press the left heel forward in space. Strong. Four, three, two, and one. Good, release. All right, we're gonna counter it. Inhale, arms up and back, and then back forward. Then wrap your strap around your left foot. Once you're there, send the leg all the way back and the right arm all the way forward. We did this on the floor earlier. Then from there, go ahead, go for your dancer's pose, flip the grip on the left, start to walk your hands up the strap. Okay, take your time. Eventually your hands will reach your foot. So strong. So strong. Keep it up. And then softly release. Shake out that right leg if needed. 
and then we're going to switch. So our marathon strengthening and balancing here. <laughs> All right, so strap around the right foot, extend the right leg back, like, like warrior three, reach the left arm forward, hug your right inner thigh into the midline. Doesn't matter how high that leg is, just, just focus. And then inhale to dancers, flip your right thumb back and then make sure the elbow now points up. Good, breathe. For this pose, the knee, right knee stays in the midline. Doesn't go out to the side, just hugs in. So strong, stay with it. Okay. Good work, slowly release. All right, then let go of the strap. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Flush it out, inhale, arms high. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold and inhale up. Nice work. All right, from here, adding on, widen your feet as wide as your mat, maybe wider. Then we're gonna do uh, like rising up all the way to standing. So from here, sit down into your, your frog pose, then inhale all the way up. Exhale if you wanna back bend, you can, and then all the way down. Inhale all the way up. Any amount of movement at the top. And then exhale right back down. Two more. Inhale. Exhale down. One last. This time hands to heart. Then point your toes to the direction that you're facing and exhale in the forward fold. Shake your head yes and no. Just let yourself really feel good here. If there's any other kind of movement side to side, you want to get into Spandasana, a headstand, a twist. Inhale, hands to hips, rise up and step forward to the front of your mat. Then have a seat. So go ahead and do that, have a seat. I'm gonna grab a little sip of water. Oops, my cup was open <laughs> when it fell. All right. Take your feet, plus press them together, knees out wide. Inhale, lift your chest. On the exhale, fold forward. All right, so try to bring the forearms down here in this um, butterfly stretch. Breathing, letting the feet compress in like a high five. And re reset. All right, this time right leg extends out in front of you, left foot into the right inner thigh. Strap in your right hand and your left hand. Good. Inhale, breath. On the exhale, take your strap around the ball line of your foot and gently pull your forehead towards your shin and then pull the strap against your foot. So we've been really focusing on hamstrings, hips, back bends, then that balancing work. Now we're going to do a bit more stretching. Inhale, lift. Okay, so from here, the strap is still around your right foot, right? Hug your right knee in. Just move your right foot side to side. You see this? Just side to side. Okay, and then now from here, right heel can stretch out all the way to the right corner of your space. So let me show you like the, the front view of this. 
this. All right, so you can pull against the strap. Okay, so once you're already here in this pose, you feel like, oh, I feel really good. Use your left hand onto the strap, right? And then use your right hand in front of your leg like this. It should be that your thigh is connecting to the tricep, not your elbow. Okay, now when you're there, you can add on embellish this pose by lifting up the elbow, the, the bent elbow, and looking underneath your right heel. Okay, so a right leg. So this is your like compass pose. Eventually, you can also do this pose, I'll show you, without the strap. So this is how it looks without the strap. All right, but the strap is kind of nice because you can access it without straining like that. Breathe and reset. So if your hips are not wanting to do that, don't push it. It's all, it's all good. We'll switch. Left leg extends, right foot in. Sit up tall. I hope that you were able to still get that other stretch. Full breath in, take the strap around your left foot, and then exhale. Fold. We did lots and lots of stretching, so hopefully you do feel a little bit more prepared for this part of class. Take a few breaths, lengthen the spine. And good work. All right, now we're going to do the other side. So I'll face you in the front so you can see. So your left foot is in the strap. Sorry if I'm not mirroring you. This is my actual left. Then lift your left knee and start to move the heel side to side. This is really much easier with a strap. Nice. And then if you, you could keep doing this if it feels good. Or you can extend the left leg high. So it goes to like the left corner of your space. You can stay here and just keep pulling your leg closer, right? Or you can try to play with that compass pose. Your right hand will go for the strap. Then your left arm will release. And then it'll go in front of your leg like this. So it's gonna be left tricep, left thigh connection. And then to go a little bit extra if you want, then you'll bend this right elbow away from you, look right or look left. Looking right and looking left. So yeah, I guess either one, either gaze that feels nice. And then once again, stay, stay in the pose. I'll show you the one without the strap. Goes, it goes onto the outer foot. And that's the pose, but either way, maybe you're here, just breathe. Good work. Slowly release, let it go. Then extend both legs forward. Take the strap around your, the ball line again, lean back, lift the chest, and exhale, fold all the way down. Maybe you don't even need the strap. If you're using the strap though, keep pulling on it like really nice like this, like lengthen the spine. Good. All right. Let it go. If you need to do a reverse tabletop to reset everything you can. Then our next thing here before we lay down is gonna be our cow face pose. So then you have two options. You can either cross your legs into a seat, like a normal cross-legged position, or you can try to stack your right knee on top of your left knee. So go onto the knees like this, align your knees, bring your heels away so that you could sit down. So that's your cow face. I'll go ahead and face you. So Stack your knees again, sorry, because I moved. All right, then your right arm goes up with the strap. Your left arm goes behind you. Then maybe 
you'll go into the full cow, cow face pose with your elbows pointing up and down and then your knees crossed or you're in the cross-legged. Breathe in. Exhale, you can also fold. That intensifies the feeling. So you're either sitting up tall or you're folded forward. Doing so good, just breathe. You can also just put your hands to your heart space and then everyone release. All right, unwind and then go for your other side. Left knee in front. Oh, oops, sorry guys. Left knee in front, we'll finish it up here. Left knee in front and on top. Lift your left elbow high and then go in for your other cow face pose on this side. Sorry, we went a little bit over, but hopefully that's okay on this Friday. Full breath in and then exhale. Oh, hey Josh, I didn't see you there. Exhale, fold. All right, very good. Inhale, lift, then go ahead and lay down. So we did lots and lots of stretching, lots of twists, back bends, all the good things. Let's go ahead and ready to rest. If there's any final poses you feel would complete your practice, you can go ahead and take a nap. Otherwise, just extend the legs and then lay down in your Shavasana. Just notice all the space you've created here. Easing any soreness, any pain, tension, tightness. Promoting health and vitality in your body from the inside out. And then promoting de-stress, relaxation, and peacefulness. When you're ready, inhale the arms up and back. Hug your knees into your chest, and then slowly roll off to one side. Once you're seated, you are going to just take a few neck rolls. Shoulder rolls. And then chin down to the chest. Inhale, bend the arms up, look up. Exhale, we bow forward, sealing in our practice through my heart to yours. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining in this very luxurious stretching class and balancing. I hope you feel really spacious and you feel great. Keep it up and try to maintain that breath and that posture throughout the day and the weekend. So thank you all and have a great weekend. See you soon. Oh, thanks, Cynthia. I'm glad I figured everyone needs a stretch. Thank you. Take care, everyone. See you soon. Thanks, Sarah. Oh, thank you.